If you own a pickup truck and find yourself towing very often, you may find yourself towing on the upper limits of what your truck's actually capable of. This is my 2019 F-250 with a 6.7 liter power stroke and 331 rear axle ratio. This truck's capable of towing 14,700 pounds with a gooseneck trailer. That's pretty easy to calculate when you know how much your trailer weighs and you know how much your cargo weighs. What's sometimes not easy to calculate is your payload capacity. The payload capacity on this truck is 2,364 pounds. So the question is, how do we make sure that the weight that this trailer's putting onto the bed of the truck and the leaf springs doesn't exceed my payload capacity. Let's talk about that. So what's the best way to make sure that you're balancing a load on a trailer and getting the right balance between the trailer and the truck? Usually when we haul tractors around the farm here, we take the tractor and we pull the back axle in line with the axles on the trailer in between the tandems, and that's usually kind of where we leave it. But we really don't know exactly how much weight is on the truck versus how much weight's on the trailer. With that being said, if you're one of the folks that's been following the channel for a little bit, you might have noticed the safe load gooseneck ball by WaySafe. This hitch has got a built-in scale on it, and today we're going to be trying it out towing a tractor to a mechanic shop. Now this hitch has got a 30,000 pound gross trailer weight rating and a 7,500 pound max vertical weight rating. This hitch will show you as soon as you hook your trailer up and get your load on the trailer how much weight is being transferred to the truck so that you can make an informed decision and you can move the cargo around on your trailer so that you're not overloading your leaf springs. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get this put in, get the trailer hooked up, and then we'll talk about what we're going to haul. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop the trailer down on the ball and you'll be able to watch and see the scale go up once the trailer comes down onto the ball. Alright, so now that we got the landing gear up, I'm going to go ahead and plug up my trailer lights and brakes. I'm going to go ahead and latch the ball. All right, now that the trailer's all hooked up, we'll go ahead and pull down here to the tool shed and we'll talk about what we're gonna be hauling today. All right, so this is what we're gonna to be towing today. It's going about 40 miles away for some warranty work at the mechanic shop. And I thought, what better way to try out the safe load hitch than with a 10,400 pound tractor. Now, before we go ahead and load up the tractor, let's talk about how we figure out what our tongue weight should be. Our tongue weight for gooseneck trailers should be somewhere around 15 to 25% of the gross trailer weight. That's the trailer weight plus the cargo on the trailer. Waysafe has this app here. And when you buy your hitch, I highly suggest getting this app to figure out how much your tongue weight should be. So all you gotta do is go through and you put your vehicle in by VIN number and what type of hitch you're using and trailer specs. And it just spits out the number right here of what your tongue weight should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in that I weigh 200 pounds. There's my weight on the truck. And then we're gonna go ahead and I've already got the M6 141 in here preset. 10,400 pounds, so we're gonna hit set, 
and then that goes ahead on to the trailer cargo and now this shoots out our safe tongue weight range and it's between 2160 pounds and 3600 pounds but you remember my payload capacity for my truck is 2,364 pounds. So we're gonna shoot for about 2,160. The tractor's pretty wide, so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my ramps out pretty wide. Let's get this thing loaded up, see how this hitch works. it into four wheel drive just to make sure I don't have any wheel slip when I get on there. So now that the tractor's on the trailer, we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise the ramps up because that's kind of taking some of the weight. As of right now, we're way overweight. We've got 4,000 pounds on the bed. Now that we got all the weight off the ramps and the tractor's weight is on the trailer here, I'm going to check our gauge out and see what we need to do. So as of right now, we're up to about 3,000 pounds in the bed. We still need to adjust it a little bit. So I'm gonna hop back in the tractor and I'm gonna back up a little bit, see if we can't get some of that weight off the truck. Now we'll just get out and see how much weight we got on the truck. Looks like we got it about right. We're right at 2,000 pounds. So should even out to about 2,100 by the time we're done. Ready to strap it down. One thing we always do when we're using ratchet straps is we run them up and then down on the rub rail. That way they pull down. Should anything come slacked up, it's not gonna come unhook. Same thing with chains. We're gonna run the hooks under and over. Now we're ready to boom it down. All right, and as you can see, now that we got everything boomed down and ready to go, we've got about 2,000 pounds on our tongue weight scale here, which is right around where we need to be. Now that everything's chained down, we're ready to hit the road. So this is really gonna be a good test for this hitch because I'm running 40 miles away. This is a real heavy tractor at 10,400 pounds, 4,000 pound trailer. And uh, we're gonna see if I can tell any difference between the way that this load's balanced versus all the other tractors that I've pulled in the past without the way safe hitch.
Alrighty folks, so with that, we've got our tractor dropped off at the mechanic shop. Said it should be about one or two days before they get it done. For anybody that's interested in the trip itself and how the truck did, um, we drove, I think, 38 miles and the truck ended up getting 7.9 miles per gallon on that trip. I did have it locked out of overdrive, so I kept it in fifth gear and I kept my RPMs right around 1600 and my speed was roughly 55 miles an hour that whole time. Now that I'm unloaded, I'm also tracking this trip. We're getting a lot better fuel mileage at 12.8 right now. I do have it in overdrive and I'm still running roughly about 55 miles an hour. Now, for anybody wondering how the truck did on the return trip, uh, we were just pulling a 4,000 pound trailer. We drove 38 miles. We averaged 55 miles per hour and we got 13.9 miles per gallon. Alrighty folks, so we just made it back. I've got the gooseneck trailer unhooked over there. First impression with the Waysafe safe load hitch, I absolutely love it. Of all the tractors I've pulled with this truck, I pulled a T4 100 New Holland, 9540 Kubota, 9960 Kubota. Um, all those are lighter tractors than the M6 141 that I pulled today. That being said, the truck seemed like it handled better today with a heavier tractor behind it than it did all the other times with a lighter tractor behind it. Now, I know it's kind of hard to say, but hear me out on it. I believe all the other times that I pulled the lighter weight tractors, I've just been overweight on my payload capacity and I've had too much tongue weight on the truck and not enough of a cargo weight on the trailer. So far, I love this hitch. It's really easy to use. I know it's overbuilt with the 30,000 pound weight capacity and 7,500 vertical capacity. I know it's gonna take anything that I throw at it. And it was really easy to just throw it in there, hook up, and I pulled the tractor up on the trailer. I checked my scale reading. I backed it up a little bit to put more weight on the trailer. And everything seemed to even out just fine. Got it all strapped down and everything worked out well. I can say that with roughly 2,100 pounds of tongue weight on the truck, it seemed like it handled well. Uh, I noticed it didn't seem like it was squatted down as much as previous times I pulled the lighter weight tractors. I noticed that the steering seemed like it was a little bit better because I had a little bit more weight on the front end of the truck than if I'd have had the rear end overloaded and taking some of the weight off the front end. It gives you a lot of peace of mind knowing that you don't have your leaf springs overloaded, you don't have your tires overloaded, so you don't have to worry about your tires getting overheated and having a blowout. You don't have to worry about breaking a leaf spring. And it just really gives a whole lot of peace of mind. So I'd give this a 10 out of 10. The only thing I'd like to see Waysafe do different is possibly make a digital readout where that maybe you could put a battery in here somehow rather than have this scale readout and have it Bluetooth to your phone so that when you're pulling up onto the trailer and whatever you're hauling, you can see an instant readout and make your adjustments without hopping in and out. That's just a small thing that I think they could do to improve it, especially with Ford having the onboard scale system now to where the scale readout is in the tail light and you can see as you're pulling your vehicle onto the trailer how much weight you're putting onto your truck. I feel like that would be a great way for Waysafe to compete with that system. If you're interested in getting one of these hitches, you can get one for 10% off by visiting the Waysafe website and using the code ALV10 at checkout. You'll get 10% off one of these hitches or any of their other hitches or products. I highly recommend it. It seems like it's a good product and we're going to keep testing it out. And if I find anything wrong with it, I will definitely let everybody know. And I'm going to give an unbiased opinion no matter what and uh, we'll just see how it all goes. Thanks for watching.